Hi, Geeky Pastimes here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the last sort of set of achievements for Zork. So these are the ones that we found on the 23rd of September, that we did them all together on stream. Um, obviously, there were lots of things happening with that set of six streamers getting boxes and things, and we helped them solve their puzzles. Jack Frags helped a bunch. Uh, Noah J was doing loads of stuff. It was really cool, like loads of people working together with Dalek and Sean um, and Drifter, like loads of people working together. That was really, really cool. So what I'm going to do now is just show you the things that you can do in Zork to get your achievements up from 36 or 37 all the way up to 41, which is how many achievements we have now. So the one to get, how to get the 36 achievement up to the 37 achievement is by entering the code that you get from these postcards. I showed this in one of my previous videos. If you want to see how to get the first 37 achievements, if you go onto my channel, Geeky Pastimes, which hopefully you're on now, and you look um, over here, there's a video, porntexporn.com complete 37 achievement guide. That shows you how to get up to roughly where we are now. So I'm just going to enter this code. So you click on redeem achievement. Lots of people have asked me how to do this. So on your cards, you will have a... Um, code that looks like something like that and that code is what you enter here so i'll enter it now and i'll show you it's and i'm not entering it at all there brilliant that was my old one this is the new one there you go and then when you press redeem and that will give you the you've got mail achievement so that'll be the 37th achievement for most of you. The only way you can get that is if you got sent one of these postcards. People do seem to still be getting them, but they take a very, very long time to come um, because they're all being sent from England, it seems, at the moment. So if, uh, if you're in America, if you're in North America, in the USA, you get it there. If you're anywhere else in the world, even Canada, it's coming from Western England uh, at the moment. It's coming from a place in Bath, which is really strange. I've seen people in Israel getting them from there. I've seen people in Canada. I've seen people in Belgium getting them. Very, very strange. So once you've got that achievement, you can go back to Pawn Takes Pawn to the Code Cave and you can head into Zork. Now to get into Zork, just to remind you, go, click on the terminal then type in Zork. And then you can see here, I'm at the sort of end of the game. So this is the bit where I've finished the game. I've done the Reconnoiter thing, put in all of the different incantations. Um, so that's kind of where we're there. If I look in my inventory and it's worth doing this, just check, these are all the things we've got. So I would say, I've got an ancient map, a nasty knife, a skeleton key, a clove of garlic, and a brass lantern. I would personally say drop the lantern, because you don't really need that. And you can drop the key, because you don't really need that. And then take the torch. Don't do what I did earlier and take the torch into the gas room, otherwise you explode. But take the torch, because then you don't need to worry about turning it off and on again. Also, make sure you've still got the garlic with you, because you actually need that. You're going to go through the rooms where the garlic is um, there. So you should have the torch and you've got everything else. Now, before you can go on and do the next set of achievements, you need to type in auto gyro. So when you type in auto gyro, you'll see the world seems to subtly shift. You get the feeling that a host of new possibilities have become available to you. That's kind of opening up this next bit of the game. It shifts the game, same as Reconnoiter did before when we had to enter the incantations. So... If you have a map up, I use this one, which is struckers.tripod.com slash zork1maps.htm. That's the one that I'm using for this. You need to go to certain rooms to kind of unlock new things. Now, some of the rooms are really easy. So the first one we're going to go to is just go east from the main room and you'll be in the kitchen. And if you look in the kitchen now, you'll see that there's a soot-covered half that has been built into the south wall. It looks like you can go inside. Now, this half wasn't there before. That's a new thing. So you can press south to go into the half and then you can see there that there's a plaque engraved with a few lines of writing there's some bricks and they've all got different symbols on so if you read the plaque you can see here that it says near dome and round there stands a spire enchanted words produce bright fire so you've got something um telling you to go between dome and round now if we go back to the map and if i just put this on the side you can see it a bit better between dome and round is the engravings cave. So that's where we're going to head. So from here, you just need to go north, back into the kitchen, go west, back into the um, main room, the living room, the trophy room, whatever you want to call it. Go down into the cellar. Make sure you're, you've got your torch, otherwise you'll die now. 
So go north to troll room, east to east west passage, east to the round room, and then southeast, and you'll get to the engravings cave. Now, if you have a look in this room, you'll see that there's a pile of crates now, um, and it's just enough room for you to sneak through, so that's where we need to go. So go south into there, and it'll say you're in a spire fire pit. So this is a new room. Notice it's not on the original Zork map. You're in a nook surrounded by tall craggy walls. In the middle of the floor, there is a fire pit with a conical spire sitting at its center. It looks like something's written on the spire. The only exit is a passageway to the north. The spire is made out of various different metals which twist around each other in intricate patterns. Looking closer, the word illuminate is carved into it. So like you do with a lot of things in Zork, just type in that word. It's an incantation. Type illuminate and you'll get the achievement altered perception for illuminating the spire. When you say it, you also get an order. So it says this order here, star, circle, plus, square, triangle. So it's worth making a note of that. Personally, I just sort of use a, um, like, grab that and then keep it on a clipboard. And you've got that just there for you. So you can see that there later. So now we need to go back to the kitchen. So if we just go up, um, so north, back into the engravings cave, northwest to the round room, west east west passage, west to the troll room, south to the cellar, then go up. East, back to the kitchen, south through the half, then you're back there and you've got all of these bricks. Now to enter the bricks, all you need to do is press place and then do them in the order it says there. And you can do this all in one command. So you can type in place, star, circle, plus, square, triangle. Type that in and you will get the achievement clairvoyant for solving the mystic order. It also gives you this word, covert conflagration and that's something that we're going to be using in the next step of pawn takes pawn so that's something that we're going to have to enter we can't actually do it today so we're going to do it tomorrow but it might be worth writing down somewhere covert conflagration because that co that's what we're going to be using next time now once you've done that you're done with the half so you don't need to worry about that anymore you can get rid of this code you do not need that anymore at all so now where we're going to go is the damp cave so go back west and then down into the cellar then go north to troll room, east to east west passage, east to the round room, east to the loud room, east to the damp cave. And then if you have a look, you'll see there's a trail of bat guano leading through a narrow, narrow passageway. You can hear a cacophony of screeching beyond it. Always make sure you've got garlic when you're anywhere near bats in this game. Otherwise they kill you. So go north and then you'll see there's a, um, tra a cable with handwritten label attached to it laying on the floor below the slimy hole. And you're in this cave with like loads of bats, thousands of bats, and you've got all these red eyes staring at you. So read the label. And the label says um, it's a Z4V DC power cable for use with the Fialka encryption machine, passcode adventure. Now what you need to do, and I forgot to do this the first time, is also take cable. You need that power cable for later. So once you've done that, you can go west, oh sorry, you can't go west, you go south to get back in the damp cave. Then go west to the loud room, go up to the deep canyon, then northwest to reservoir south, west to the stream view. Oh, actually, you don't need to do this, you can go east, go back east to reservoir south, go north to the reservoir, there we go. North to the reservoir north, north to the Atlantis room, go down into the cave, or north, up, up into the cave, there we go. Got there eventually. Then north into the mirror room, North into the cold passage, west to the slide room, north to the mine entrance, west to the squeaky room. Make sure you've got your garlic, otherwise you'll die in this next bit. North to the bat room, east to the shaft room, and north to the smelly room. Now, we found all of these rooms, by the way, because there was a page that had all of these things highlighted in the background. Um, so that's how we knew which rooms to go to. So now, if you look in the smelly room, you'll see that there's a doorway to the west going to another room, which, again, isn't on this map. So you go west into there. And it says that there's some massive bellows in here. There's a weird smell. It's nozzles pointed into a hole in the wall that drips with slime. The handles of the bellows are locked in place with a damp, with a uh, clasp. Then hooked up to the bellows is a machine with a keyboard and various knobs. A port on its side looks like it hooks up to the wall outlet, but it's currently missing a power cable. So you can plug in cable because you just grabbed it from the other room. That turns the machine on. Now, if you look at keyboard, uh, so look at machine. There we go. It says that it's a Fialka machine with Latin Cyrillic. So now to do this, you need to go to PornTakesPorn.com. PornTakesPorn.com. And try to spell it right, unlike me. And then forward slash Latin Cyrillic. And that will take you to this keyboard that lets you work out the code. So 
you have the code adventure already. You got that from earlier. Now, the way this works is you need to find the letter on the right is the letter you have, and you're looking for the letter on the left. So the first one you can see there is OA. That's where the A is on the right. So you type in O because that's the other letter on there. Then for the D, it is B. Then for the V, it is M. Then for the E, it's Y. Then for the N, it is T. Then for the T, it is E. And then for the U, it is H. For the R, it is K. And then for the E, it is Y. So type that in. And then remember to actually type in enter first, otherwise you don't actually type it in. You just sort of try to say it, I guess. And then you will get code breaker. So you've now unlocked the bellows. So you've got the next achievement. Now, since you've unlocked the bellows, you can pump the bellows. So type pump bellows and that pushes this sort of stinky air around to somewhere else. Now where it's actually pumped it to is the damp cave, which is where you just were. So now you need to get back there. So make sure you go east, back into the smelly room, then go um, south, then to the shaft room, west to bat room, south to squeaky, east to mine entrance, south to slide room, east to coal passage, south to mirror room, east to the cave, south to the Atlantis room, south to reservoir, north, south to the reservoir, south to reservoir, south, south east to the deep canyon, down to the loud room, and then east to the damp cave. Now, when you go back north into that room you were in, you've got chemical warfare. Because so what you just did was you pumped that smell into here and it got rid of all of the bats. So now all the bats have gone. So now if you look at mess, oh, you don't need to look at the message. You can see there it says they reveal a message scrawled on the wall behind them, forceful gale. And that's the other word that we're going to be entering into the Porn Takes Porn website. So now you've got these two words that we're going to be using tomorrow. And you've also got all of the achievements. So I would always save... Make sure you save like whenever you do stuff in this. But if you just back out again, then click on your little sort of person logo, you'll see now you've got 41 achievements, which is all of the achievements you can currently get. If there's more achievements tomorrow, I'll make another video. We'll keep on doing it. And I do all of this on stream. My Twitch name is Geeky Pastimes. So it's twitch.tv forward slash Geeky Pastimes. I'll be on there at 5 p.m. BST or 12 p.m. EST tomorrow. So that's Thursday the 24th if you want to see me solving this in real time and hopefully working with all the people in my Discord and working with hopefully some other great content creators. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please do like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.